Hello YouTube, good afternoon. My name is Nor Muhammad and I'm back with another watch review. Okay, so what we have here today is uh, the Seiko Star SARG015, which is a JDM model, Japanese dom domestic model. Oh, before I continue, I would like to do a wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the um, Seiko Sumo Blue Sumo uh, SBDC003, which I have uh, reviewed, I think, last, on, last week. You can check out the link for this review uh, at the bottom of this video later. Okay, so let's get back to the watch. Let's see if I can get it focus again. Come on, focus, focus. Alright, so come on, focus. Oh, this is nice. Alright, okay, let's. So, this, let's get the dimension out of the way first. Uh, we have the uh, what we call a sporty dress watch. Uh, the diameter is 48mm from here to here. Uh, the lug to lug is about 50mm from here to here. The lug width is 20mm, which is the strap size. The thickness, yes, it's quite a thin watch uh, at about 12 millimeters right so what do we have for this watch uh, the reason why I bought this watch over the uh, Tissot Visodate is this gorgeous blue dial as you can see this is what they call a sunburst style see you see how the light plays on the dial all right so yes and when I look at this this watch picture in the uh, one and now one and one one and one website I'm immediately uh, intrigued by you know I'm I'm totally interested by the watch and I've been looking for the watch ever since. So when the chance has came, the chance uh, came and the watch is at the right price, yes, I jump on it. I pull the trigger. Okay, but there is a but. This style is beautiful, yes, no doubt about it. But the crystal is a sapphire crystal. Okay, you can hear from the tapping sound. It is a sapphire crystal. Sapphire crystal. And it doesn't have any AR coating. Why oh why Seiko do you do a gorgeous style without any AR coating? It's so difficult sometimes to see in a, in a certain lighting condition. Okay, so you can't really see that beautiful dial straightforward. You know, quite a lot of glare in it. So yeah, that's a, that's a, quite a uh, you know a, a huge point considering that the the dial is very beautiful okay so next we have this um, non-rotating bezel which features uh, 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 minutes and we have uh, applied indices and applied Seiko logo and we have 20 uh, sorry we have a date only date marking uh, date, date window here this is use uh, this is this watch is using the 6R15 movement same as this my uh, Seiko Sumo and it features a superb 50 hours power reserve which i really really like and the vibration yes you can see on from the uh, uh, second hands it's quite good sweeping but not as good as a as for example as an eta 284 uh, sweeping second all right so let's see if i can get better focus all right what else Okay, so the case, yes, the case is very beautiful. As you can see here, it's quite a flat one. Uh, the lux is, you know, lux is going down quite a lot. Hold on. Uh, yep, you can see the lux is going down quite a lot. And there are multiple finishing on this watch. You can see here, there's a brush surface. There is a polished surface over here. Let me zoom a bit. Yep. Get quite good focus for you. Okay, there's a brush finishing here. There's a brush finishing on this bezel, and there's a polish finishing down under this uh, uh, screw down case back, right? And there's also the lug is quite thin. Oh, come on, give me, give me something, give me something. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, come on. I don't know why it's not focusing too many. Oh, okay, yep. Here you can see this quite a tiny polishing here so it's very <laughs> cool detail that Seiko have made for this watch and maybe you can you can see that this uh, bezel is actually going to the outside instead of uh, chamfering it's it goes to this side right? it's quite sharp but not really that you know that uh, cutting your finger or something and this sapphire crystal is actually a bit domed right it features very very cool on this side it features the Seiko uh, 
I can't focus for you. All right. Yep. Seiko S Insignia. Signed Seiko uh, Crown, which is very very cool. Okay. And yeah, let's take a look at the back. So another reason why I bought this watch is because of this of the uh, display case bag. Okay. So let me show you the display case bag on this watch. Ta -da! Yeah, I really love that. Um, um, you know uh, what they call it, collage finishing on the Seiko Roto, Seiko Roto. And where's the? Yeah, there's the uh, uh, the oscillating wheel. Ah, oh, the balance wheel. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, the balance wheel is working there. It's red, I know it's typical Seiko, but not the worst that we've seen from Seiko. But yeah, it's okay for a Seiko uh, watch. Um, what else we can say about this watch? Um, the strap. Yep. It. Sorry. It. This uh, watch features about. Um, I think 10 bar water resistant, which is 100 meters, which is enough because I'm not gonna bring this for a swim anyway. Um, for uh, just for a sporty dress watch which looks cool on uh, quite a lot different uh, type of strap okay talking about the strap this watch this watch actually came with a leather strap this blueish blueish leather strap which is very very thick and I don't like it <laughs> it's so stiff and I don't you know I don't really like stiff uh, uh, leather bracelet anyway so what I did was I bought another uh, leather strap and put it on this original buckle that came with the watch, which is rather cool. Right? So it features this, like so. Quite a simple deploying class, which I really like. I really like because it uh, preserves the uh, the leather band uh, longer than the normal tank buckle. Right? So this is cool. Okay. So. Another reason why I bought this watch is because of the versatility. So, as you can see in my other videos, I tend to match my watch with quite a lot number of straps. Okay, so here I'm just going to show you how, what are the options that you have if you want to purchase this this watch. Okay, so as you can see here, we can match it with this, um, you know, Le Mans uh, racing style uh, strap, and also. Yep, this one, a uh, blue and white. Sorry, this one, blue and white stripe. It looks rather cool in this in this configuration. Another one, a um, blue and white stripe, which looks, you know, I think this looks cool. And another one, this uh, blue and white and red, which also looks cool. And what else? Um, yeah, the. The bone, yeah, finally the bone, the ever versatile bone needle, which looks really cool and on any watch that you can find on the market. Okay, so I think that's all from my side today. Uh, we have quite a lot of uh, noise interruption today. I'm sorry for that. And uh, till next time, I hope you enjoy my watch review, and uh, I will be coming up with uh, another. Uh, I think another watch uh, review soon which is the uh, Zin 556A and also the uh, Vostok Amphibian so until next time uh, if you find the video uh, you like the video and you find it useful please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of uh, videos from my from, from me please subscribe okay until then bye 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 <laughs> <laughs>